Hello everyone and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we're going to get a little window time and we're going to walk down a path of my youth, so to speak. So this road where you see that truck turning from leads into a town called Urbana, which I lived in oh, up until I was about seven or eight years old, which is back that way about two miles. So I was coming down this way and I happened to see all the John Deere's and I'm not even sure what the name of this place is anymore. But this is, my grandparents owned this when I was a child. I think, now don't quote me on this, but I think my grandfather is the one that opened it. It's called Koenig Equipment now. I'm not sure what it was called back then, but his last name was Tarble. So I kind of wonder if it wasn't like Tarble Equipment or Tarble implementaries or, or whatever it would have been. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to try to take a back way. When we moved from Urbana, we moved into a little town called Cable. And that's, I have very, very, very fond memories of Cable. And I have relatives that live there. And I have not tried this since I was seven, eight, maybe even younger so I'm going to go past what was granddad's store and I'm going to take the first road to the left of course now I see some stuff up here I didn't know I was going to see hmm well this is the road I'm going to take to the left and hope that it runs me to cable Ohio and I got a sneaky suspicion it's not going to there was another road back here called like Kerr Road or something and I think that's actually the road that I wanted but we're gonna try this one and basically what I'm gonna try to do is find my stepmother's gravesite and of course, you know, I got to go through Cable and then I got to go through North Lewisburg or go into North Lewisburg. Um, yeah. And we're just going to see how it goes and if I'm anywhere correct. But you guys don't want to hang on here for a 45 minute drive. So I'll bring you back whether I mess up or whether I make it. So hold on just a second. All right, I thought I'd bring you back real quick. Um, nothing's looking familiar out here. Of course, I haven't seen this since I was, like I said, six, seven, eight years old. Uh, I did just pass a road called Kings Creek, which I know Kings Creek. I know that there's a famous YouTuber, Harmless Farmer. He lives out in that area. And I have at least three family members that live on that road or out in that area. So, believe it or not, I did stop and wash my windows and be clean for you guys, but I didn't do a very good job. So, we're just riding out here in God's country. A lot of farms, a lot of beautiful places. Uh, I did notice the name of that road. So, that kind of makes me think I'm not on the right road. But, at the end of this road, we'll find out. There's Canard. That's the road that my Uncle Ray and them live on. I think it's Kennard Street. Hmm. I'm not really sure. There's Kennard Kings Creek. I don't know. I, I'm not lost, but I'm lost. If that makes any sense. So, let me keep going on down this road and see what happens. Okay. So, apparently I messed up. Because at the end of that road was not the end of the road where I thought it was going to be, but I am on a road that I've heard of. This is North Ludlow, and I know that runs into Bell Fountain, which is where I'm headed now. Um, I'm just here right now because I had to come to Walmart in Urbana. I wanted to get a new uh, vacuum cleaner and a new carpet cleaner. And people, you guys don't have to worry. You can see my hands are on the wheel. You know, I'm, I'm not 
I'm running hands-free on my camera. I did, however, pick up another camera, a new camera while I'm in Urbana, and it's a digital camera for vlogging. Uh, it's new, but it's about a year old, but it's just new old stock. So we'll have to see how that does. And right now I'm just still trying to figure out where I'm at. I kind of really wanted to go through cable. That's not going to happen, I don't think. So hopefully the next town that I can find will be North Lewisburg. So we shall see. All right, I just stopped and asked some sweet elderly lady. And she's like, honey, you're going completely the wrong way if that's where you want to go. I said, okay. So, now this says the Ohio Caverns that way. Now, I know where the Ohio Caverns are on a road, but hold on just a second. Okay, sometimes it's fun to just ride around lost, but <laughs> that lady told me right down here, and she lives here. She said, you go down here, you make a left, and then you make a right, and that will run you right into Mingo, which I know where Mingo is. That's kind of in the opposite trifecta of where I was wanting to go. But all these little towns are only like three or four miles apart from each other. So if I can find one, hopefully I can find my way. Uh, I think that dear old lady was right here. I think. She was just ready to cross the street and check her mail. And she told me to go up here, hang to the left, and then go all the way down, and then go to the right. I bet that's going to be that Canard Road I said I knew. I might be wrong. goodness she didn't tell me about a road right here um, hmm. <laughs> this is going to get tricky all right so I think right up here is a sharp curve to the left and I'm pretty sure that's what she said and then I'll make a right, and I have no idea. I bet she meant make a left there on that Kangi Road or whatever it was called, and then a right, and I bet North Lewisburg, or excuse me, Mingo, is just right over there. But I could be wrong. All right, so I'll bring you back when I'm somewhat found. Wait a minute, let's top this hill and see. Yeah, I'll bring you back when I'm somewhat found. All right, I don't mind admitting that I am lost. I think I'm back where I started from. I just talked to a, a lady that she told me how to get to North Lewisburg. I think, I honestly didn't sound like she was too clear that she even knew, but she said, I'm on 296 now. I wanna go down here and at a stop sign, make a left and then you gotta kinda jog left to stay on it. And she said, that will take me right into North Lewisburg. Well, if we can find North Lewisburg, we can find ourselves. Or I sure hope so. But she didn't make like that stop sign was very far down the road. I'm already a couple miles. So I ended up in Kings Creek. And I thought, well, I can find myself from here. But I don't know that I've ever been in Kings Creek. So here we go. So just kind of bear with me. And I do not see a stop sign. Well, maybe way on down here. All right. Hold tight. All righty. Well, I just stopped. I'm in Middletown, and I have no idea where that's at. Um, I just stopped and talked to another gentleman that told me he's not from this area. But he did tell me, he said, I can tell you how to get to Cable. He said, you go down here to Cable Road on the left. And you got to look for Dog Leg and Flatfoot Road and 
I was like, wow, am I out in the middle of Kentucky somewhere? But anyways, I think we can find it now. Uh, that other lady's ad, or the way that she sent me, no. And this does not go anywhere near North Lewisburg. So, all right, so here we go. You know, what I find very, very, very strange is everybody I've asked for directions can't be but five miles from any of these towns. And they don't seem to know them. Let me move that mask. They don't seem to know them. Now, I'm rolling up on something here. And this does not look like the cable I remember. Um, discount railroad, rock bottom prices. Okay, here is hometown pizza. Okay, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. This is the road right here that I hope to come in on. Yes, sir. And that's mutual union. Okay, I know where I'm at. If I go this way, I'm going to run across my uncle's house. And then I'm going to... Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe I was wrong. No. I can't be wrong. But I think I wanted the next road over. I remember that park. Now we should run across the little grocery store. Okay, I'm in Cable. I see Cable United Methodist Church. But I know that I'm going to go down here and go around a real sharp curve. Kind of a funny thing. Uh, right there at that house when I was about five, six years old, my dad bought me a mini bike. And I remember that very well. My uncle's house will be, as soon as I turn, it'll be straight ahead. And the post office is little bitty. Right there is the post office. Um, not this bigger building, but this little building right there is the post office. It's almost not as big as that car. There's my uncle's house. And I see he's got an old car sitting out there. Perhaps maybe we need to see what that old car is. So I'm just gonna go down here and turn around. Oh wow, that's pretty rough. All right, I'm gonna turn around. Hold on just a second. All right, so we are back. Uh, there's that old car. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It's an old Ford, I think. It's pretty rusted out. And that's where my Uncle Jim lives. He's lived here all my life. Um, and if you go down here, this used to be an old railroad track running to the right right here. If you go way back in there, there's a bog uh, that kind of stays steamy and hot all the time. And I remember that from when I was a kid. Now, I have not been on this road since I was probably, oh goodness gracious, at the bounces. Since I was probably six, seven, eight. I don't even think I was eight. I think it was six or seven. But now on down this road, we're gonna turn real sharp to the right. Actually, it might even be a turn, but I think it was a curve. Oh, now something exciting I, I get to show you. Yeah, it's more of a curve. Black Road, I just seen that, so I would not have known to make a right to go to Cable, so I'm glad I didn't go down Black Road. Anyways, now we're going to make a sharp left. It could be a, a stop sign or it could be a curve. Uh, I grew up in these woods over here. I actually got lost in those woods and ended up like at these people's house right here, me and my two or three cousins. So, anyways, let me bring you on back here in just a minute. There's no sense in you guys seeing all of this. I mean, it's kind of boring. All right, so it was a stop sign, and I made a left. Now, I grew up right down here. It's a big, long lane. Man, I know my camera's not being very stable for you guys. These roads are horrible. I think it's right at this power line, right here to the left is where I grew up, way down a lane. We lived in a trailer and there was a trailer back behind of us. Yeah, this is it. 
Oh, I still see a trailer down there. Man, I almost don't want to go back there and make somebody mad at me. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to. I mean, this is somebody's driveway. And I just don't... I used to walk this driveway. See that house? Let's see if I can't zoom in on it. See that right out? Right there? I used to walk this driveway every day for school. Even in the summer. Now, this is where we lived... Okay, so I was eight years old. Because this is where we lived in 1978 when the blizzard hit. And my dad got his truck stuck right over in there because he lost the road. All right, so let me get out of here. I think the next thing that we're going to do is go see where my stepmom is buried. All right, so we found ourselves. <laughs> Finally, 16 minutes into this video, and one thing that I'm really, really, really liking is the fact of where it's at. Somebody has brought her roses. I think that was my daughter, Katie. And you can see... Wow, that's a beautiful, mm. that's a beautiful stone. Now, I know that over here, this would be, I'm not really sure, I think, okay, I know Denise right here was my cousin that is my stepmom's sister's stepdaughter i know that's kind of hard to to say all at once but so she is buried by by family so that's really awesome I really like the idea that uh, Dad said he planted grass seed. And if you look, the grass is real green. Ugh. Kind of trying to straighten some of these out. There we go. Kind of get them all straight and looking good. All right. Going to look around just a little bit. Bogs. Okay, this is another Bogs. But now I didn't know all of his. Uh, his name is Dennis. Um, actually, no. His last name is Herring, so this would have been his ex's, I don't know. I'm, I'm all lost, but I, I do know that this one up here, I think they called her Sissy. And that was Denise. I remember her from when I was a little kid. Oh, wow. They got married. So her husband died in 2018. Wow, I did not know that. So, anyways, there they lay. And those, you know, that's, that's family. Uh, I may not know anybody other than Denise, but at least it's family to read my stepmother, and she probably knew them all. So, all right, I got one other thing I want to show you guys, and I'll bring you right back.
All right, well, I messed up. This is the second film of that whole adventure of mine. Look how beautiful that sky is. I just kind of wanted to show you guys, once we get up here, the grave that we just went and seen is my stepmother. Now, when I first met her back in the late 70s, she lived, well, her parents lived up here, and it was just a little modest house, you know, like an older farmhouse, and a newer trailer, and it is all gone now. It, there's actually some type of a convenience store or something, but look at that beautiful sky. That's just amazing. But yeah, I had no problem finding the grave site. Um, you know, I come in backwards than I've ever come in. I got lost, as you know. And I've, I've never actually driven this by myself uh, at, of age. So, and I come in backwards of what I thought I was gonna be coming in. Now, if I'd have come in through Mingo, which I'll show you guys a little bit of Mingo. I could have probably found my way a whole lot easier. But I tried to come in from Urbana through Cable instead of Bell Fountain through Mingo. So anyways, this is where it's at. This is Middletown. And you'll see this bright red building up here. Back when I was growing up, my stepmother's step-parents, so my step-grandparents lived here. There was a trailer back in there, and then there was an old house set in here. And it's really weird to see all of that gone now. Okay, apparently I don't have a stop sign. So, yeah, I mean, now there's that set in there, and it's just really, really, really strange to see that, you know, they got rid of all of that. All right, so now we're on the road to Mingo. So I will bring you back in once we get into Mingo. All right, so we're just rolling into Mingo. So my aunt and uncle, we're actually gonna turn on that road eventually, but not right this second. My aunt and uncle, when I was growing up, lived right here at this White House. That's where I spent most of my time as a child, was right there. And now we're going to go right here, a turn, and my aunt and uncle, nope, I don't think it was this house. Wait a minute, I got to make a right. Because my other aunt and uncle lived right here in that little house. I think it might have been. Because this was like the town hall that, <laughs> it's, it's gone now. This is where you could have like family unions, unions and stuff, if I remember correctly. I was trying to see, that was my Uncle Tom and my Aunt Betty that lived in that that house right up there. Okay, there's the store. So, my other aunt, Susie, and my Uncle Danny had to have lived right over here. I don't remember their house being that big. Is, is what confuses me. Look at that old church. Look at that beautiful old church building. My goodness. Even the steeple and everything is still there. Anyways, I don't know that, that that is where they lived, but they lived right on the corner, right across from them. So, you know, uh, now we're talking, um, <laughs> boy, I'm going to get my age off here now. We're talking back in the early 70s. So we're talking probably 45 to 48 years ago since I've been out in here. So that's it, people. That is the beautiful town of Mingo. And you seen Cable didn't even have a little store or nothing. They had a cute little post office. Uh, 
I didn't go all the way into North Lewisburg because there was no point in it because the funeral or not not funeral home but the uh, barrel plot was on the outskirts of town so I didn't go all the way in there but it's not very big either so anyways with all that being said thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching this video and please like and subscribe comment down below and oh I'm trying to watch and everything let me get up here to a stop sign and I'll end this video all right sorry about that now we're at a stop sign and I can concentrate these roads back through here are very windy so anyways you guys please subscribe and once you subscribe smash that bell notification go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post share us on your social media pages follow us on Facebook under general vlog video and please remember that when I ask you to subscribe it's not like I'm asking for a magazine subscription it is 100% free does not cost a dime just helps our channel grow the same way that a thumbs up helps our channel grow so with all that being said I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and we will see you on the next video or live stream you have a super super great day and please be safe